Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. This is uh, September 20th, 2018. About 90 degrees. Pretty good little breeze blowing. Uh, this is the Intermediate Series, Week 24. Uh, I'm glad to tell you guys that all the splits we made three or four weeks ago, whenever it was, they've all got laying queens in them. I've been through them. They're all, and uh, last week you seen we built a few up. I've been working on getting the rest of them built up. So 100% success ratio on splits. Uh, that's unheard of. There's nothing 100% in this bee world. You very rarely get 100% of anything. So the rocky start we had on this series at the beginning, that kind of made up for it to get 100%, uh, all of them back laying. This week, we're, we're, uh, we've kind of neglected the, the mother hives that we took the splits out of. We ain't been in them since we took the splits. Um, we're going to kind of get in here and see if they're doing all right, see if they need boxes. Uh, on the beginner series, I was telling everybody, you know, if you're not treated for your mites, you've got to treat for the mites. Uh, the bees are starting to back off. The queens are starting backing off, laying a little bit now. Not laying as much. Uh, the mite population's up, and and you get fewer bees. It just keeps exploding, exploding in the month of August and September. Come in there. We just done a mite wash on in the beginning series, and I had one mite out of 300 bees, and it's time to treat again. So. I was real pleased with that. But, uh, uh, you need to be feeding your bees. Uh, here in Indiana, the bees has got about two brood cycles. The one they're on right now, and one more. Those are the bees that you're going to have, winter bees. That's the ones that's going to make it through the winter. All these bees in this box now is going to be dead here in a while. So you need to be feeding, so that queen's up and laying, make sure they got pollen. I don't recommend feeding pollen patty on top this time of year for the small hive beetles, but get some dry pollen out there. They may hit it or they may not. If they don't hit it, they don't need it. They're getting plenty out in there. Just because you see them bringing in pollen, think they're getting enough pollen, that, that, you're fooling yourself. Some, uh, I've got, uh, they're bringing in lots of goldenrod pollen right now, but I can see two feeders up there, pollen feeders, and you know, there's three or four hundred bees in each feeder. Not a lot, but they're evidently not getting quite enough to, to do what they want to do. Of course, I fed all year because I don't do honey. Uh, I still got drones. I uh, they're still drawing wax, and the queens are still laying relatively strong. Like I say, we've not been in this box since we took the split out. You know, we took these down to. One frame of bees, and it looks like they're covering at least three, three and a half frames of bees now. So I anticipate that the queen is doing what she's supposed to do. Doesn't look like they need another box at the present. Let me get in here and look around. See if we can. We have to manipulate something around. That's basically just a open nectar frame there. I kind of wear a veil in the fall. They bees understand it's coming on winter time. They get kind of protective of their stores, and you can get them lone wolves come up there. She's laid a few eggs. Can you, if you can see this new comb they drawed out. She's not got a leg laid nowhere, but that new comb right there, she's got it laid full. And they've got two brood cycles left, and uh, ooh, that, that comb is not got any string in it. You can see it move. There's our big old queen. Uh, 
can't, the sun's out here, I can't even tell if you can see or not. I don't think we're going to change anything in this box. I don't want to mess the brood nest up because they're getting it set up like they want for winter. Later on the season, I'll show you how I winterize these. You get a decent strong newt box and put a little tar paper on the top for some convection heat from the sun in the winter and give them a sugar, sugar on top. They're good, healthy bees. They don't have to be strong hives. I've seen my strongest hives be the first ones to die in the winter, so the strength of a hive doesn't have a whole lot to do with this. It. It's got to do with uh, 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 health of the bees. Healthy, you keep them dry, and that's what it's all about. This is the other, one of the other mother hives. Let me see here. Get in here and see what we what's going on. Yeah, three or four weeks we've been out of these is, is really too long, but I've been busy. I can't just get to everything sometimes. But we'll get in here and see what we got. Well, it appears to be they're doing pretty good. If this is if the bottom box is full and they've not moved up here. They looking real good. We might even move a few of these starter strips down the bottom. They got five, six weeks left. Let them draw out and lay some eggs in some of these new new comb. You seen them queens like that new comb. Just a nectar for him. They haven't started drawing out any of the starter strips up here. All nectar in the top, which that's fine. That's the way we'd really prefer to see it. We rub these hives down pretty strong to make that one last split, so. They had a ways to come back from it. These look pretty good down here. But these are, they got these two outside frame. No, they don't have them drawn out. Yeah, pretty much. That's a honey frame. We're going to move it up here to the top. Kind of put it in the middle where that's over the, over the heat. Centralize it this time. This time of year, I like to keep them centralized so they can come straight up. Like I say, you've seen it. We busted this one down pretty slim. Frame of brew, she's got it all laid up. Nothing wrong with that. A big old wide frame of honey here, though. Don't mash that down, I don't like that. They'll rework it. It was between a starter strip and they just made it wider. 
Now here's a starter strip we put in there four weeks ago. Full frame of brood, fresh eggs. Looks fantastic. So she's got one and a half frames of brood there, cap ready to hatch. Open frame, a little bit of capped on that. See a big old wide. That's because they had a starter strip out here, and we wasn't in the box to uh, manipulate the frame around. A little bit of pollen. I, I didn't really see the queen, but it doesn't really matter. She's got fresh eggs in there, so I know she's in there. Nice comb out over here. Get all the bees off of it. Mash it. Get a run down. That. They'll, re, they'll rework it. I guess we'll just give them one, one new frame in the bottom. We'll draw that out and she'll lay that up. This hive shouldn't have any problem going through the winter. Two five frame medium boxes and a sugar board on top, be fine. I've actually wintered five frame medium singles. And like I say, it's all about the keeping bees dry in the winter time, well fed, and the health of them. We took care of them all summer. And as I say before, there's nothing 100% in this bee world. You can do everything right and still lose a hive, hives in the winter. It, 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 some, it just happens. Uh, if you remember right, this was in a double two frame and we took, uh, we took the put a divider board in it and made a split out of it and we moved uh, the other one, and you can see it's way over there on 42, that's 41D on this side, but that, uh, the split off of this is uh, on the other side of that, in, in 42D. And let's get back to where we were at. But this was one of our original splits that we made, and we made a split off of it by just putting a uh, divider board in. As you can see, it's got the blue tag on it to let the snow was in part of that split panel. I anticipate this one to be fairly strong. She had more than one frame of bees when we started when we made the split. doing exceptionally well. Frame of uh, open nectar. She's 
Yeah, you know, we got about two, two and a half frames of bees. She needs to broaden out a little bit. But that's a good frame. All them holes in there, that, they're, they're hatched out and, and got new uh, eggs laid in them. Same thing on this side. Just a good frame. I think we're going to put these girls to work a little bit, make them work. Got another full frame of uh, cat brood, open brood. She's looking, looking all right. Nothing exceptional, but all right. We're going to put this frame to the outside. It's starting to cool off a little bit, but when you put starter strips in there, they'll just draw it out as they need it, and it doesn't, doesn't stop the flow of heat. Or uh, They've managed to cover about one more frame in here of bees. So we'll give them a starter strip in the middle, let them, let them work on that. These girls may not be happy. I'll have to work this from the door side. If I remember right, we got tarred and left this hive a little bit on the strong side. If I remember right, it seemed like they was maybe three, three or four um, frames of bees in this one. We ended up leaving a box on it. We'll probably do some range get these broaden her their horizons and move out so they probably won't they may like me up Here to have several bees in it. I don't know if they've all moved to the top. They're actually working both boxes. We'll soon know. Starting to draw on that one a little bit. Well, that breeze feels nice, but it wasn't much of a breeze. Cat brood, open brood, a little bit open nectar. Appears to be she's working on the top and the bottom. This is this is a good strong hive. Another partial frame of brood, open brood. Another frame of cat, cat brood. And a frame of all nectar. 
If it wasn't so late in the year, this box would be ready to split again right now. Uh, let's see what the bottom looks like. At the present, I'm going to put this spring in the middle here so it'll, it'll draw it out. Happens to be full foundation. They just don't like full foundation the best in the world. Draw starter strips much faster. Box is just loaded with bees. Good frame of pollen. More cat brood, more cat brood. More cat brood on the other thing. I'm inclined to give them another box. I think I will. This late in the year, I'm going to give them draw cone, some of it. That way she can go to laying immediately and really get these numbers up this high. Two frames of draw cone. The way she's been going, she'll lay it up in a couple days. Put the new box in the middle. She had a frame brood up here. Let me steal it.
not too high for me to reach, can I? Checkerboard, two starters for the uh, hole. Yeah, there's one. Well, this box doesn't have any starter strips, and we'll use full foundation, which I don't like. I need to get it used up. See the foundation up here in the top. Really looking good. If you guys are around where got a goldenrod bloom, you ain't been doing it very long. Your hives really stink right now. You think you got think you got a hive that's got foul bloom or something that's bad. It's just the goldenrod smell. So they get it cured, cured out. It'll it'll smell for a while. And the last mother hive we got. Oh, uh, sixteen. Done sixteen splits, and we got. Uh, Four mother colonies, I think. I'm it is rough math. So we ended up with about 20 hives out of the two packages that we done. Go all the way back to the beginning. You know, the one package was a, was absolutely a dud queen. And we fought that all summer. So not the greatest in the world, but you know that. that Put you up to 20, the two packages. Say you lose 50% of them through the winter, that gives you 10 to start with out in the spring. And them's already established, it's not packages. You ought to be able to make uh, 12, 13 splits off of each one you got left. That's 130 hives. So no, no reason you can't uh, get in the bee business. Just got to have a little bit of knowledge and time and a lot of, a lot of hard work. Oh, man. This one here I can see right now is ready for a box. Hmm. Let's go if I've got to find some frame. Here's the box cleaned up, on the inside anyway. Let's see if I can run down here and grab uh, some starter to put in here. I did find us some ferns. We're going to put this full foundation in the top box. Uh, it'll be the last thing to draw. Let's see what we got in here.
seemed like I remember right, I was getting tired and made enough boxes I wasn't making no more and these last two was a little, left a little stronger than the rest of them. But my memory's not the greatest in the world. Frame of honey, it's definitely going to the top. Over here and go all the way to the outside and see if this is a frame of honey. This late in the year, that's all we're moving up to. Now we'll get in here and see what the brood nest looks like. You know, they're, they was covering five frames of be with bees. Cat brood. Drone comb. I don't want to put that down in the bottom. In the starter strip. They got enough bees to draw out. I'm feeding them good. These, these girls eating about 30 gallons of syrup a day. Looks fine. Full. Cat food. Yeah, that was a full frame of cat food. Yeah, well, the girl's got a little room to stretch her legs out. Queen doesn't have a place to lay, she'll just wall her gum around in there and wait for a place to lay. Give them room. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series this year. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, I've tried to teach you everything, a lot of things that I know what works for me. And sometimes what works for me won't work for you. Vice versa, what works for other people doesn't work for me all the time. Uh, you just kind of got to get the general knowledge down and, and uh, experiment, see what works for you. If you enjoy the videos, hit the subscribe button and uh, the bell next to it. Get notified when we make uh, more videos. Next year, I don't think I'm going to run any long series. I might do some several four, five, six week mini series on certain on specific thing and teach you a little more. We're gonna go into some grafting and queen rearing next year. Uh, I'm going to school in April for AI, artificial insemination of queens. I've got all my equipment. So if I get good enough we may uh, have a little bit of kind of this show and tell how things works on that and we'll go from there you guys have a great week